My birthday is coming up and I want to look extra fabulous for that day. It's my special day, so I'm going to make myself a new dress. I think I want to wear pink, but I can't think off the top of my head a dress that I would like to make. So I guess I'll go ahead and look on Instagram for inspiration. This dress is cute. This one is cute. But oh my goodness, this dress right here is absolutely perfect. I really love this dress on her and I think it would look nice on me too. This dress looks very similar to a dress pattern that was recently released by McCall's and it's McCall's 8. So yes, that is going to be the perfect pattern to use to make this. I can get almost the exact look just by making view B minus the sleeves and dividing the tears into half to get the four like she has. I told you it was perfect. Why am I talking to myself like this? Okay, now that I've got that out of the way, let's move on to the sleeves. But this is a no-brainer for me because I made a sleeve like this before when I made McCall's 8146 last winter. I remember the sleeves looking identical to this before I actually tucked the point from the shoulder into the fabric to give it a bunched look. So now that I have those two patterns figured out, I will have the dress I want for my birthday. Yay! Okay, so now time to find fabric. All right, so we're at the fabric store. Let me check out the pink fabrics. I just want something plain old pink, not all that extra stuff built in. So this, uh, I don't think I like that one. Okay, this is a symphony broadcloth and I think this will work. Do I need any notions now? Oh, I almost forgot the buttons. I just want basic buttons because the sleeves and the gathers are spicy enough features on this dress. We don't need extra on the buttons. When I went home, I cut out all of the pattern pieces to make view B, minus the sleeves. I measured the two tiers and divided them in half to make four, but I added an additional two inches in length so that I could have an exposed, folded, gathered look on the outside of the dress on tiers two, three, and four instead of standard gathers, and I also doubled the tiers in width. I sewed all the pattern pieces together and everything went pretty smoothly except for the last two tiers because I had to keep adding width to the tiers and I had to keep going back to the fabric store to get more fabric. Eventually, all the tiers were sewn on and it was time to add the sleeves. But before I added the sleeves, I needed to measure the arm side so that I could add a small little gathered ruffle in between the seam of the dress and the sleeve. So I measured the arm side and doubled the length of the measurement with a four inch width piece of fabric so that I could get great gathers. After that, I was tired of working on the dress, so I decided to check out accessories. I remember seeing an advertisement on Instagram by Coach and they showed a beautiful pair of pink heels that I thought would look perfect. So I ordered them and I also ordered a matching wristlet to complete the look. After my break, I added the button plackets, the buttons, and the buttonholes, 
and my completed birthday look that I was going for was completed. And here it is. I hope you enjoyed the little video clip that told the story of how my birthday dress came about and the making of it. This dress is so special to me and it took so long to make because of all the gathering that I had to do by hand and all the sewing of the tears and putting all that together then having to stop and get more fabric several times. <laughs> so yes, this did take me some time but I am so pleased with the finished product and I was able to wear this dress three different times already so yes I have gotten wear out of this but if you want to know more about the pattern that I use I will briefly go over those details with you now but before I do I want to you know again thank you so much for stopping by the channel if you don't know me already, I am Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T. And if you're new to watching the channel, I welcome you and I hope you consider subscribing. And thank you to all of my returning subscribers for coming back and for your continued support. And if you like this video so far, go ahead and make sure you click the like button and the subscribe button if you have not done so already so that you can be notified of future videos and again I'll talk briefly about the pattern not so much in major detail because in the previous clip of the making of the video pretty much touched on everything as far as the changes that I made but uh, for the pattern that I use for the dress I use McCall's 8285 for like I said the dress and for the sleeves I use McCall's 8146. The pattern description is tiered shirt dresses that have length and sleeve variations. View A's blouse has long sleeves, a contrast yoke and collar band and the shirt dresses come in knee and midi lengths and have collar and collar band variations so not every view is going to have the same collar or collar band. I picked this shirt dress pattern out of all of the shirt dress patterns that I have because I felt that the tears were in the perfect place for me to make the necessary alterations to duplicate my Instagram inspiration dress which is why I made this. So I used view B which is a shorter dress and the recommended fabrics are going to be your cotton blends, lawn, eyelets, gauze and the sewing skill for this pattern is noted as easy and it is an easy button front dress pattern but I don't think it is beginner friendly because of the tiers, the gathers, the button placards, collar and collar stand. I don't feel like any button front dress is beginner friendly. Um, I believe it, you could be like in a learn to sew category because if you're learning yes but just to be a beginner and take the project on no um, but as far as the notions thread and buttons and I will say for this dress in particular my recreated dress while I was making this dress I read out of bobbin thread three times due to all the gathering <laughs> and I used like one and a half spools of thread okay so yeah it, I used a lot of thread getting this dress together for the pattern sizing on the actual pattern it comes in size extra small through extra extra large the size that I cut was a large which gives me a finished bust measurement of 50 and a half and my bust is 46 and a half so that gave me a little room which is what I was going for I did not want a fitted look for this especially in the bust area I wanted it to just look relaxed you know 
but as far as the pattern pieces are concerned this shirt dress pattern is typical of most all others except for this one has tiers and I did divide the tiers in half and added two inches to each tier um, so yeah it's not anything out of the normal um, as far as pattern pieces are concerned so in almost all of my other reviews one question that I ask myself is does the dress look like the photo on the pattern envelope okay and because this is a recreation it's not gonna look identical so the answer is yes and no as you can see I left the front and back yoke to look like the pattern because I didn't want it fully gathered that high up top like the gathers on the tiers uh, two three and four so that portion of the dress along with the collar and the collar stand and the button placards were not altered at all so yes that portion of the dress or those sections I should say of the dress are identical to the pattern because I did not change those um, everything else like I said was altered to look like my inspiration look the pattern instructions were easy um, that I did follow and I did have to follow quite a few I mean it's pretty much the same all I was doing is just dividing the tiers so I did read through all the instructions and they are easy to follow and if you are going to make this dress and you don't want to follow the instructions Mimi G did do a sew along for this pattern and I did listen through most of her um, sew along and it does sound very easy to follow as well so you have two options there the things that I particularly liked about this pattern I like the ability to be able to create my desired look without much effort okay this pattern gave me life for what I wanted. The most effort that had to be put forth to complete this project was doubling up on the tiers and figuring out how many tiers I needed because this dress gets fuller towards the bottom and you have to add more tiers than you would have up top. So that was the biggest challenge, but it wasn't difficult. I, when I saw I needed more, I just cut another. <laughs> um, there was nothing that I disliked about the pattern. I didn't learn any new techniques or anything like that, but I did have a first time experience. This was my first time making a baby doll tiered style of a dress, okay? And I really like this look, it's very forgiving. And I did wear this to a birthday party. I wore it to a gala, um, a fundraiser gala, and I also wore this to a wedding. And so I had several people that were like, oh, I've been looking for this style of dress. Where did you get it? I really like how relaxed it is, but yet fashionable. So yeah, people tend to really like this style of dress for the same reason that I wanted it. But for the fabrics, I use this cheap, <laughs> I hate to admit it, cheap broadcloth symphony fabric that was on sale at Joanne Fabrics. I only paid like $2.56 per yard after all the coupons and discounts. And I really don't like broadcloth at all. Like I feel the texture of it is like kind of crunchy. It's not super soft. I mean, it's not hard, but I don't know. I just don't like the texture of it. And I have like a big texture issue with my skin. I don't like certain you know feelings on my skin so you know, it kind of bothered me a little bit um but it ended up not being a really big issue at all because after you know because there's so much of this fabric and it was bunched up it, for some reason it didn't bother me because it wasn't like laying flat on my body i know that seems weird maybe but yeah when you have texture issues or if you have them you would understand um and also another thing that I do to make sure that I don't feel too uncomfortable when there's fabrics that I don't particularly like um, to touch my skin, I just wear undergarments. I wear a full out cami with a wide strap and I wear like a um, type of, not a spank, but you know, something like that underneath. But anyway, it took about seven to eight yards to make this. And this was 45 inch fabric, okay, not 60. Um, and it took that many yards to get all of these tiers and gathers. <laughs> now, as far as my sleeves, I use McCall's 
8146 because I made this pattern last winter and I remember how my corners poked out before punching them back in place here or pushing I should say them back in place when I originally made that top and I was turning the sleeves inside out I was like it's not supposed to look like this why are the corners poking out so I just pushed them in and it looked like the pattern cover you know but the pattern itself does not say that that's going to happen so I was a little thrown off but yeah that's why I was fresh on the top of my mind and I remembered it so vividly because I remembered that experience throwing me off a little bit um, but if you would like to know more about that particular pattern I will link to it in the description box below because I have already published a detailed review but as far as alterations or changes I've already discussed that you know briefly earlier about how I divided the tiers in half and I have an exposed folded tier you know for each section uh, because I wanted that look instead of a regular gathered look and I would definitely recommend this pattern I think this is such a great pattern and in my opinion this is one of those patterns that is multi-seasonal because you have your short sleeves you have your long sleeves and you have your sleeveless view so it's good for summer spring and the fall because of those variations and not just those variations but because there are length variations as well as far as availability both patterns are still available at your local joann's and hobby lobby and on the something delightful website this dress pattern is very new i believe it came out in the spring or maybe the last fall something like that i can't really remember but i know it's very new so I don't see that going away anytime soon and I see that you know different people have made it and they really like it and and the sleeve pattern and as far as the top pattern to get the sleeve that is still also available so as far as my pairings <laughs> I paired my dress with my bling hoops a matching necklace and for my shoes I went on the coach website one day because when I was scrolling through Instagram some pink sandals came up and I was like oh no you know I have shopping issues why did this have to come up on my feed and I knew I wanted to make a pink dress so I went to the fabric store first to make sure that there was a matching pink and I ordered those shoes and that's where those came from and then of course I had to get a matching wristlet I am the wristlet queen I mostly make my wristlets but you know this was my birthday so I went ahead and splurged and got that matching wristlet <laughs> so now I will enter a few more pictures and twirls with me in my birthday recreation Instagram inspired dress Again, I am very pleased with my Instagram inspired create the look birthday dress and I hope you are too while the style may not be everyone's cup of tea I still feel that it is very satisfying to be able to look at something that you want to wear and make it yourself you know the only issue I have with the look in total is the length because I accidentally cut off too much on the bottom because I don't know I I just got tired okay <laughs> I would have liked to have an additional three inches maybe so trust me when I say do not work on projects when you are sleepy because this type of incident is can happen you know I don't think it looks terrible I was still able to wear it but I would have been 100% satisfied if those three extra inches were still on the dress one other detail that I wanted to add to the dress is that I had intended to put rouging at the underarm seam of the sleeve right here to have a more gathered look like the photo but you know I was just over it 
after at that point and I was like you know what this is fine I showed this to my mother I showed this to one of my friends and they're like oh it's fine don't worry about it so I just left it as is like how the pattern for the sleeve designed it to be so that was that but like I said I am still happy with it and that makes it uniquely mine so please let me know what your thoughts are about this dress and how you think it turned out in the comment section below as I would love to hear your thoughts make sure you stay tuned especially if you are here for the pattern mashup and how you can get different looks because I will be creating another look very soon by using two patterns and I think you will enjoy that make I am getting ready to close out this video but before you leave I want to say again thank you for watching and please take a pause for the cause and click the like button and the subscribe button and the gray notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos thank you so much for watching thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your support and I will see you in the next video bye